Howdy, it's uh, Claire from Imagination Finds Love and I have a reading for you today. Um, we've got a full moon in Leo, which is, um, you know, it's about creativity and um, really just expressing all of ourselves and ambition and stuff, right? So I have three decks here for you today. Have the light work. Work your light. Um, so I'll put, probably won't be able to see that very well. Then we have the Moonology, because why not? We're coming up to a moon. And the last one, um, which is called Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. So um, I'm going to get started and yeah, enjoy your reading. So the first cards that I'm going to pull are from the Moonology deck. Um, just to see what the moon has to communicate with us at the moment and see what um, our next steps are as a collective to move through. So um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I've been having a lot of different energy come through. Um, mainly focused on my career and there's four here. So I think I'm going to have to reshuffle just to see I think the energy is just feeling just a little bit whoa this is all new stuff coming through and and we're upgrading and all sorts because new moons are all no, new moons full moons are all about upgrading so your commitment is being tested so um, because I do um, readings that are based on twin flame connections, I feel this is very much, um, it's talking about your commitment to your twin flame, to yourself, um, to your life purpose, and um, to whatever growth that you have just been through recently, um, how you are committing to that to make sure that um, you follow through with yourself. Your commitment is being tested. I love that. So this is what the new moon is all, the full moon is all about. Gosh, getting my words jumble wumbled. I feel like that one wants to come out. It's time to release negativity. So um, this is just about being, you know, being in victimhood um, and no longer taking that with us. And how we do that is just by choosing to let go of it. Choosing to let go of negativity is holding us back from our commitments. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then, what's our next card? is going to be a short reading for you guys just to show you where you're at but if there is any um, new projects that you are doing um, or if there's just a challenge that you're you know facing at the moment your commitment to that um, is being tested just to make sure you um, you know stick to it you are good enough so your commitment is being tested because you haven't been feeling good enough and you haven't wanted to take action towards something um, that is more aligned for you. So you are good enough, you are worthy enough and you do deserve to be all of yourself. So um, whatever commitment that you are going through right now that is challenging you, just remember that luck is on your side. <laughs> I love these cards. So um, that's four from the Moonology and I'm just going to pull a couple from here and then maybe one from the Light Oracle cards. It's really interesting because you know like I haven't really been on on YouTube very much lately and so for me um, this really resonates for me so I'm hoping that you know, as the collective um, vibes up, 
we are coming into more of ourselves and so this is our first step is to see you know the first line up so if you are moving into more of a, like a your life purpose if you are you know making more commitments with your partner or more commitments with work um, moving or whatever you're going through um, or have gone through just recently um, we're just going to look at that a little deeper now so this one says mother healing as your feelings towards your mother heal your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately so I can I can definitely feel this energy is where we have felt like our mums um, or our the mother energy the divine feminine energy has held us back from being all of ourselves so you see how there's like that woman in there it's like yeah it's because you know the old versions um you know when we were growing up a lot of us have dealt with our parents kind of um saying you can't do that you can't do this you're not worthy enough of that you know like not directly usually but some parents may have ta taught us that we couldn't go for our dreams because going for our dreams meant that um, we could be good enough for something amazing celebrity versions luck is on your side we are very lucky because we are choosing to become more of ourselves so the next card um, that follows the mother energy is like when you heal that energy within yourself where you felt really, really stuck from your parents and, and your ancestral line telling you different um, stories about yourself and you believing that. This is telling you, this empowerment card is telling you you're more powerful than you realize and it's safe to be powerful. So you're more powerful your words are powerful and your actions are powerful and you can um, make more of yourself by um, just choosing not to listen to the negativity telling you, you know, that you aren't good enough um, and you may face that. This is what your commitment is telling you. You're, you may face this um, and it's just about just moving forward, moving forward and out of that rut and so with that being said I'm going to pull some life purpose cards for you from the work your light oracle deck and see what has to be said <laughs> how can you mother yourself that is really amazing that that card came out. I can't believe that. <laughs> birthing a new age. So birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you are, um, this is about you giving yourself the, the mothering that you actually deserve. Um, you know, the divine feminine deserves to be told that they are worthy, deserves to be told that they can go for their dreams, deserves that. And while you're, when you do that, you're going to come and you're going to birth into this new person that can be all of that because you are powerful. How cool is that? I love that. So that card wanted to come out. Oh, we've got two. So, release soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. And then this card says no. So what this is actually saying, instead of it being no, um, this is saying yes, you can do it. Because what, what's happening here is saying no, you can't go into that storm. No, you can't face your challenges, no, 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 which is the old, that's from 
this, right, is about unbound, releasing soul patterns and contracts and past lives. And this is behind saying, this is your belief, is that you can't be all of yourself. So I hope that, you know, this is talking about you transforming into the person that you desire to be. And this is like your subconscious um, belief that you aren't able to have all of yourself and be all of yourself and express all of yourself and be committed to all of yourself. So, yeah. What a wonderful reading, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, I have one card that has just popped up, um, which is called The Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So I'm going to leave that with you. It's a pretty young lady who looks like um, you know, she's hiding behind the sword a little bit. But she's ready to fight. And she's ready to turn into this magical person. Look at the flowers in the background. You can see there's so much. There's so much in there. It's amazing. So your question today is, have you answered your deepest calling? I would like to hear your answers below. Um, and... Yeah, whatever's calling you to do. What are you holding yourself back on? What are your deep beliefs that you don't believe in yourself? It's time to change those. Okay, guys. See you later.